Fernando Martinez, top American in the uh, 1500 here at Paris. How are you feeling about the result? Um, I think from the start, I, I, I thought we were going to go after a fast pace, but I think after 200 meters, I think it was going to be a sitting kick. So I wasn't going to do any work. I was just going to sit with the pack. And But I think with uh, maybe 600 to go, I just wasn't in a good spot and I left a gap form. Uh -huh. um, so I'm kind of a little bit upset about that because I, I just left too much work for myself at the end. And yeah, I was top American, but I mean, without even looking at the time, I think I wasn't happy with, with how it played out. Yeah. I think I should have been a little bit more more tough on the on the curve when I should have made it that ground. I mean, does it give you confidence knowing though that I mean, Jenny and Chan have been sort of one two in this event for a while. Yeah. Three four in the Olympics last year. I mean, and you beat both of them. Today. Yeah. Uh, today it doesn't say anything for the future. So I know Jenny was was kind of uh, it took her time to kind of get the season going last year and she got a medal at the Olympics. So you can never count anyone out. Um, so. Again, I'm, I'm always going to be aware and cautious of where they're at in the race. And um, again, that's, this is just one time that I beat them, but that doesn't mean that they're going to fight for it in the summer. So yeah. you had a big year so far. A lot yeah. Of lost times. I mean, do you feel this is the best year? When is the last time you felt this fit? 2013. I think the year that was really good for me, and I, I got my fastest opener in the eight. Um, and. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to the eight and just being in a race where Caster's in it and just getting dragged to a faster time, right. just because I know it's going to be an opportunity to race her. So is the focus still going to be 800 for a Yes, yeah, I think this is going to be my last year in the eight, so yeah, and then after that, I think I'll move up. So, so today's result didn't, I mean, just because the 800 is sort of like the medals, do you feel like that's spoken for? Like, do you feel like it's more realistic for you to have yeah. a shot to medal in the Um, You know, I... I've seen that mindset where like, oh, the top three is, is already taken. It's a fight for fourth. I don't I don't want to think that way. Um, for me, I think it's an opportunity to race these girls. If I it might not beat them, but what if it gets me to dip under 157? Um, so I think to have them in the, in the race is a good thing. And I also think two of them are very beatable. Um, so I think it's just the race has to go perfect on my end or someone else's end. and. Uh, I have to have the, the, re the best race of my life if I, if I want to at least be one of them, so um, I think it's an opportunity. Did you see the 800 today? Cause I didn't. I was under the stands watching it, and then I started tying my shoe, and I didn't even see the ending, so I don't even know what they ran. Because, yeah, I think Castor and Wambui was sort of out in front with yeah. 57, but Ian Saba was third, but pretty close to the rest of so. uh, Okay. I'll have to watch it. I, you know, I have to study the tactics, so. I have work to do. Right. Any more races between now and USA's? Um, I might do Portland. I don't know what race it's going to be, 8 or 15, but I want to get something in before that. All right, nice job. Thank you.